city leaders to do the right thing and, and be in politics, Lord, be more statesmen that we would represent our town in a way that's honorable to you, that the things that we do will reflect in your goodness and your mercies, and that we can have a town that you would consider a blessed town. We just thank you so much for the opportunity that we have. We pray for your leadership tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We have a special guest back here. This is Andrew Burton. He's here, he's, uh, here to observe and work on. What patch are you working on? Okay, he's going to do a pledge for us. Schedule start the 22nd, conclude uh, May 10. That looks like it's going to be full with around 10 recruits. Talk with the uh, lady that sells our fireworks to us last week. Told her we wanted to request the fourth, and uh, she hadn't gotten back to me yet. That may be a problem. I went ahead and said, well, if we can't get the fourth, we'll take the second with a rain delay being on the third, which is Saturday, Sunday. If we do get the fourth, if she can work it out and we do get it, it's going to be an extra $750 because that's the 4th of July is their busy day, so they have to upcharge to be able to cover all the events that they go to. I should know something next week whether we have it the fourth, but like I said, I just went ahead and, and scheduled us for the second, third, if we can't do the fourth. Now, is this the last time they're going to do this? Are they this out business or with this company, is that, I think that's well, what he's asking. That, that's the, she told me that she wouldn't do it this year, but she decided to stay in business. So as long as she's in business, I want to do business with her. So. <coughs> Other than that, business is you. Tim, is, is there a, a loop or something broke at the Westinghouse intersection with 35? Some of the employees are saying they used to hold both sides, and now it's just holding one side. They can't get out going. Uh, the state changed the program Did they? on the signs, and they have what's called a lag layup term, and it changes the whole parameters. So that's it's intentional, so it'll be that way a while. Okay, I relate that message to them. Now they say the traffic flows better by <coughs> Okay. That was uh, part of the, when we asked them to come up and look at 35 and Airport Road, the, they submitted a project to redo all that intersection, but in the meantime, they worked on their timing of their lights and everything. So, how much? It seemed to help a little bit, but that's still a long way from what it ought to I think the Siemens employees think that they should just stop all the traffic when they get off. Yeah. Just let them all out there and, and so fix it like that. So, well, I've heard that from you, dude. No, I, I wait till they're all gone. I met with the engineer when he was here before, and he said the first thing they need to do is put a traffic light there. So, most likely, if this gets approved, so the the uh, the thing at the at the intersection of Walmart and 35 is fixed. That loop was it? No, it's, it's still not. Yeah, we haven't had time to put it in. But okay. The traffic flow now, you can't tell that it's broken. Okay. Traffic's a lot lighter right now than it was Christmas. All right. Thank you, sir. 
I know Greg is at the ARPA convention uh, this week. That's why he's not here. I talked with Chris Saint yesterday, just kind of get an update on what our what our summer and what our what our uh, uh, scheduling looks like for the complex. And I believe he told me they had 22 Saturday tournaments scheduled already, and he and he told me how many Friday tournaments also. So. Uh, they're really filling up the filling up the dates at our complex, so we should see a lot of folks coming in Fort Payne this summer. Okay. Eddie, you have anything? Okay. Jessica. Uh, I have a couple of things. I wanted to let everybody know that the uh, the state has the simplified seller's use tax program up and going, and they're going to have a link on their website soon that we can find out who all has signed up. You know which one that is, but. Uh, online retailers can sign up. We've gotten a small amount of tax from that already. So hopefully by the end of the week, I can you know, kind of look and see who all signed up for that. And um, I passed out, we've been working on some policies and procedures on the advice of MBA and the public examiners. If you guys can look through that and tell me what we need to do to update it or if you like it or you know what we need to change it, Rocky, look through and see if we've got everything that needs to be. It's cash receipts, payroll purchasing, cash disbursements, and vehicle usage. So if you want to get back with me sometime soon. Okay. That's it. All right. Thank you, Jessica. <clears throat> okay. On to business. Uh, United States Marine Corps Reserve to present an award of recognition to the mayor and the council for their uh, appreciation of the city support of the Tourist Protocol Program. That's what I was wondering. Well, actually, <laughs> <laughs> actually, here they are. I didn't know whether they were coming or not, but uh, basically it was for the uh, Toys for Tots program. There's an article in the paper today about that. And uh, they, they uh, said the U.S. Marine Corps Reserve proud to recognize Fort Payne City Council for outstanding support of the 2015 Marine Toys for Tots program. Same thing. <laughs> they do a good job. I really, I, we're, we're lucky to have a group like that. I mean, they, they really, they put a lot of work in. Lot of work. Okay, new business. Discussion on the sale of city property at Third and Golf. That's the Barry and Dunn office supply building. Uh, the the Barry and Dunn currently lease this building from the city. Well, we, we de facto extended that. We need to formalize their lease technically ended in November 1st, 2014. Uh, they've continued with the lease. We've continued to accept the payment. So one thing uh, we need to do tonight is to formalize the extension of that lease for an additional five years. And my understanding is that they're uh, prepared to give us notice that they're going to exercise the option that's contained in that lease to purchase the property. During this five-year period? I think immediately, immediately. Immediately. So even though we're, we're going to basically ratify what we've already been doing, then they're going to turn around and, and buy the property for the price that was agreed on originally. And then the agreement was that whatever they pay to it would credit toward that price. I make a motion that we extend that. <coughs> Motion from Randy. Second. Second from Walter that we extend that lease another five years. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? And for clarity, that will be five years from Fourth. November 1st, 2014. Okay. That property boundary still still cuts off right that little that little burn, right? That little plant burn on the side between what the lease cars have parked. So the only parking they've got is just right in front of the building, right? That is correct. That's correct. Okay. So I'll be sure we want to want to keep that parking space out there for a we need a we need something from them that says we're exercising our option to purchase, and once we do that, then we can tell them what they need to do to, to finalize that. I told them I called back after the meeting tonight. You just tell them send us a letter. I don't think that council has to take any more action because the once you ratify that lease, the purchase process and the price is already in there. So all they've got to do is give us notice. And get their title work done and we'll convey that property. 
All right, thank you, Rocky. Uh, next, the Kangaroo Express has been purchased by Circle K and asked that their alcohol license for beer and wine be transferred to that name. Nothing changes other than, uh, as I said, the Kangaroo, the pantry actually is the name of the corporation that's been purchased by Circle K. And they wish to renew their license. Of course, it would be a different name, but nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing changes other than the name and the ownership of the corporation. Are they required to go through the application process? For I've got an application for it. But, but it's not. In essence, as I said, it's strictly a change. I understand, but it, is it required to go to the alcohol on the name I think the only time it's required to do that is if there's an actual ownership change in the, in the, in the form of you've got different people and therefore different backgrounds that will be running. I don't think it would in this case. I mean, it, even, if, even if you did, it's a de facto. It's, it's just yeah. nothing changes. The location is the same. The only thing is changing in essence is the name. Name on the front. Yeah. Yeah. Changing the name to protect the good. And that's so. Do you have a motion here? Yes. So well, I mean, uh, that's why, you know, the FYI, you know, just we'd like to have a motion. So we'll approve the name change. Yeah. I have a motion from Walter. Yes. Second. Second from Red that we approve this uh, name change on the uh, transfer. <coughs> <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Okay, next. MBA to address the mayor and council on the results of the city's. Uh, hang on. Come on up. Awful big box of stuff you got there. It may take a while. Give me some time. Well, do you and Andy still have your copies? I have mine. something very quickly, but let me ask you, it says under auditor's responsibility, mm -hmm. and it says we audit the financial statements of Fort Wayne City yeah. Board of Education. That yeah. is, that a, is that Board of Education or is that a misprint? That is 
That is saying that we also have our okay. students do the gotcha. Supreme Board of Education, and that's one of the new requirements that you have to include their numbers into your numbers. I got you. Okay, so thank it's, you. It's a separate audit, so that's why we're saying there's kind of two different opinions. One yeah. is their opinion that we're including.
because it's something we've got to replace all that junk. Yeah. Stuff, equipment, what's the right word? Get the right word for me, ladies and gentlemen. Don't put it in there. Back at, at, back at on uh, at those long term liabilities again, the additions is that interest? What is that?
Now, two seven, 2017 is when the sewer bond paid off. Isn't that correct? recommendation to um, start budgeting for this because this is a city's liability. It's not the, like the net pension liability that the state put on the books. This is our liability because of our policy. So I feel like we need to start funding this and not let it go too far out of control. This is a 25-year employee. Yeah. Or, or other employees in certain situations. Yeah. 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 25-year or disabled. like to say that uh, I'm extremely proud of, of the way everything's come together. Uh, Jessica uh, ramrods this. She does an extremely good job. Uh, everybody on here is conscious of money being spent and, and it shows. It shows. So I, I appreciate it very much. You know. Okay, credit card. These guys, they hurt them. Yeah. Maybe Andy a little bit. <laughs> it's just a pleasure working with her and her crew. <laughs> well, I, I think it extends also to her department heads and, and the folks today because they are very, very conscientious about the money they're spending and they work real hard at their budgets to, to put together a very efficient budget. And so it, 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 it's from top to bottom. It's a group effort, that's for sure. And, and I think we've got as good a working crew as I've seen I mean, from all the way bottom to top. With the, I've watched, I've been here long enough to watch the department head going from not knowing what we were doing to actually kind of understanding budget time by getting sit down and crunching numbers with us and it helps them help us. So we have to do so much critiquing to get there. So I think it's as, as we get, if we're not afraid to share information with them, then they're not afraid to help us cut the, so it's not only just sharing information, being a good team. So and we got it going on here in Fort Payne. So it's a blessing, actually, what it is. So I'm, I'm thankful for that too. Just, I also think that uh, us getting on the budget service and getting it passed uh, by the start of the fiscal year or trying to the last few years, I think it really contributed to, to everyone being more aware and, and trying to stay with it. When did we pass our budget the first time? When? But we didn't have a budget uh, because they didn't pass the budget. They didn't want to pass the budget for us to have to live with, so I think we passed it. Sometime right in the first of the year, maybe yeah, right December or something like that. But since then, it's been yeah. by the beginning of the fiscal year each, each year. Which is what it offers. Right. I'll say that we're January, February. Yeah.
So any additional questions we have then no charge, right? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Conservative about allowing political rallies. I think we have a couple at the at the uh, at big the league last year. We have had some at the city park. Have had some in the city park. Had some had several tea party meetings in the city park. And, and, and like I said, there's absolutely nothing illegal about it. But y'all have been very careful in doing that because once um, I mean doing it for the Republicans and Democrats is probably not a big issue. But there are some parties out there. Could be an issue, you're not going to be able to say that. So, I could. She said, we're not going to be able to say that. No. No. Well, you know. I mean, if they're a recognized political party, libertarians, the socialists, I don't remember who else. The communists, the do it. The communists, the Nazis. Well, I'm definitely not in favor of supporting them. I'm just saying the normal Democrat or Republican, you, you know. Can't say the normal, though. You can't limit it like that. If you open it up to political parties, you open it, it's open. You know, you, it's either open or closed. That's the reason I asked. That was a, that was a red flag. Well, that being the case, I think we need to we need to make a blanket statement that said because of that we can't we can't allow it. I, I mean, that's a policy decision for y'all, but you just need to understand that once you open the door, the door's open. The reason I ask because this this has been our policy. I'm not sure that we've ever turned down anything specific at the culinary building, but we have turned down political rallies that are. Well, I, we had, there was something here a while back we turned down for some. Well, I know that several times the, uh, and, and, and some would argue that the Klan is a political organization. We've turned them down. Obviously, they go to courthouse steps. And, and you're right, there was something else that, that was turned down. Um, I don't remember what it was or where it was. There, there, were, there were a couple of activities, if, if I recall correctly, at the pavilion, but I don't know that we've ever allowed one. the city election at the, at the auditorium or, 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 the, or, or any building. Do you recall any? But as I said, I'm not telling you you can't do it. I don't want to be, uh, but I'm just simply saying that once you open that door, uh, then that door is open for all legitimate, uh, well, I don't even want to use that term because we don't need to be in the business of judging what is and isn't a legitimate. That's what I was Party. Uh, so so did we not open the door last year by having what? both parties? At the pavilion? At the pavilion. Well, that doesn't open it for the so was that, Iron Gold building. No. But well, if it's not been done last year, so I don't think that's a little bit more of an open. Then we've allowed the park to be used for the tea party. So, let me let me just let me just understand this in my head. I, I won't I won't allow the Tea Party to come and then if, if the Klan is proven to be an organization that is is a political party, I couldn't say you can't do it. That's right. Okay, well I well I, we can't we can't be unfair if we're not gonna allow everybody to do it. And there will be some cases it, it's you know, when I look at the, the history of the party, if they're not gonna be friendly to Fort Payne, if they know them all in the same category, then I'm not willing to allow Take a chance on citizens for pain that somebody can get another shootout like they did with the, when the Klan was down there. A couple of members were shot, and then ended up a guy getting decapitated. You remember that? The bar, 
time. So if, if this is lumped all in together, then then uh, you know, Mr. Spy be driving home, and then they had the rallies over here. So if it's all lumped in together, we got to real be careful of our protecting our citizens. So if it's lumped in together, I, I think we should we should explain it why we're doing it, and we should we said this should protect our own citizens, and we can't allow it in our parks. If I need to do that in motion, I'll put it in the form of a motion. Well, while we're discussing that, does the political realm extend into the religious realm? Well, sure, yeah. I mean, you know, because you're, you I, I mean, if, if, if just pick the church down the road, if, if uh, we allow the Methodist and the Baptist to uh, use uh, our park for some function of theirs, and, uh, and we have. And then uh, an Islamic group, uh, uh, which I don't reckon we have around here, but if we did, and one of them came and wanted to use that, uh, or Jewish or Catholic or whatever, wanted to use it, then no, you couldn't turn that down either. We allowed, we allowed the Tea Party last year in the park. We allowed the Tea Party in the park, and we've allowed, I think, both the Republicans and the Democrats to yeah, do it. So I, I think if this request was to use the pavilion again or use the party, either we would have to start a new, have, have to pass a, a new policy right now that says from this point forward we're not going to allow any or whatever, uh, or we're going to have to say uh, we've, we've opened it up for, for political activities in the park and in the pavilion, and we're going to continue to allow that, but uh, not at the coal and iron bill. So uh, the way it is right now, if, uh they can have it at the pavilion without a problem. Is that correct? Well, we've already opened that up. And we're going to have, yeah, well, it, it, we're going to have to take some definitive action to say from this point forward, yeah. we're yeah. not going to allow any. Right. I mean, we're we going to wait till some particular definitive action comes and then make that comment. Right. <laughs> but is that, that would also include the Tea Party rally in the park. At that point, but at this point, you know, we could let this go, and then the, when something does come to us that is questionable, at that point, we'd cut it off to everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. No, no you can't problem. wait till you get the objection to people here. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you, can't, you can't come up and say, well, we decided to get rid of those folks, so we're not going to let anybody. Uh, I mean, either you, you got to not let anybody, or you've got to let every legitimate I've probably used a, a bad scenario or a bad example with the Klan because I think we could make a, make a good argument there that there are some dangers uh, that are not attendant to other parties uh, and therefore we, we can make some legitimate um, uh, differential there. That was probably a poor choice of, of, uh, of an example on my part. but. Uh, Generally speaking, once you, if you're going to let political parties use government property, then you've got to let them off. You can't pick and choose. And we can't wait till we, I mean, we're okay with the Republicans, and we're okay with the Democrats, and we're okay with the Tea Party. Oh, but I don't know, you know some other, the socialists come up here, but we don't like socialists, so we're not going to let them do it. Well, I wouldn't have a party with the government. It does. But you can you can add you can add a clause in for hate groups maybe. Could you could you exclude them? I mean things you know something. I'm all concerned about something that may be violent. I don't think. Well, well I think you can are. exclude it if, you, if you've got reasonable grounds and can demonstrate facts upon which you can um, show that there is a particular danger. But you know the county couldn't keep the Klan from uh, meeting on the courthouse. Meeting on the courthouse steps. Public property, they couldn't keep them from doing that. So, if you're not going to let, and, and we might not ever have a problem, you know, we may be, uh, uh, what my daddy used to call Barney Jack, but that's a long story. But we may be anticipating a problem that never will come up. But if it comes up and you've got somebody you really don't want in there, you're going to have an awfully difficult time if they're willing to pursue it through the court system. You're going to have an awful difficult What say you guys? Motion? I think I think the wise thing for us to do is to is <coughs> just let them find private property to do this on. I just I don't know that we want to. May I suggest that we go a little further and maybe 
table this and then uh, this table or the angles. Well, I'm I'm saying in essence you're going to turn this one down, but it might be good <coughs> if we tried to if we call the league and call some other towns and tried to develop an overall policy of what we're going to do with regard to political parties and political requests. And Have we it, not had a political event in the Cold and Iron Building before? I don't know. I said, I know why. We have rented, or I don't know who we have, somebody. They have in Hunt Hall. In Hunt Hall. They've rented it. But I assume they're talking about just the they they that. No, that's not the That's landmarks, that's correct. Landmarks. Yeah, several politicians have rented Hunt Hall for receptions. I, I would just say that until we can come up with a little a better idea and formulate a, a policy or a plan that we shouldn't, we shouldn't uh, grant any of these at all until we come up with a plan. <coughs> and, and that may mean we can't grant any until next year. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll immediately start take, taking a look at it because uh, this is an election year and, right. and uh, although we made this primary, there will be the, the general election. And, and we'll try to take a look at that and see what restrictions there are. Or, well, I will withdraw my motion. All right. Randall, is that a motion? To not, or I guess we just don't make a motion. We just don't. I don't think we have to do anything. No, I don't think we have to do anything other than just, just you know, decide that we're going to we're going to come up with a policy and we're going to talk about it some more and give advice from the lead. Right. So we know if I heard enough. Somebody wants to rent a place from us. Well, we'll take a look at that as part of the public sales. Because, 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 well, I mean, you know, you get back into, you get back into the thing of. We couldn't, for example, say, well, let's just make it obvious. We couldn't say, well, we'll, we'll rent the country club to the Republicans, but we're not going to rent it to the Democrats. You well, kind of the same situation. That's right. So we're, yeah. So you've got, you got a problem now. If you, can, once again, you can demonstrate some danger to the building or, or security or whatever, then because there are groups now that we can refuse to rent it to because we know that uh, they're going to be trouble when. Over there. But we'll try to get you. We'll try to get some sort of overall policy uh, in place, or to you, and let you all take a look at it and see exactly what we can do. Well, we have uh, rented a theater on numerous occasions for religious groups. They pay for what groups? Everybody else. Religious. religious. I don't know, but one political uh, action that took place. During the campaign that before Ron Sparks came, he had a rally there in the field. Well, we, we'll we'll try to get the parameters of it. Make sure I'm not making a mountain out of a molehill, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not. But, All right. So again, on this one, just no action. <coughs> and therefore, it's not approved. Okay. Last thing our new business is an activity permit for the Little River Arts Council Music Concert at the Rotary Pavilion. This is Saturday, June 25th. Uh, the same date as Bike Night, they will need to get with Mike Griggs to determine the time of the concert. Mike's right here. Have you, have you talked with him, Rick? We talked about it, and I don't think he's been able to get in touch with anybody on that contact list. Uh, so we're going to still try to see what time they're going to do their thing. We need to table this until yeah. I mean, in June, and we can table this until we get a little better idea. The lady, lady came up here when, when she filled this out and, and I actually got my <coughs> and they chatted and what, what they did, kind of agreed with just to blend the two of them together. But, yeah. So we'll, but I, I didn't know that Mike was going to do I forgot that. Right. Yeah, we just put this in the back. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Mr. Mayor. is in operation. That cup will be opening shortly. We don't really know the date of those. Uh, but we need to start tracking the sales for you know rebate on that. And the Dollar Tree in particular, I guess we they're in operation now. I guess we'll just have to compare their sales against same period last year? Yeah, I've already created a spreadsheet that shows the last three years of sales for the Dollar Tree, okay. so all I'm ready to do is plug in the next month as soon as we get them up on that. Okay. Uh, folks over there, <coughs> a lot of folks in that 
happen if we don't replace it right now? It'd just be some columns up there without any fence at the No public safety. We'll try to get down, but I can't promise that. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's no walkway that people, are, if they do, they're going to be doing what Eddie's doing, just jumping on it. Yeah, there is a little stair, three stair thing down at the end of the parking lot closer to uh, Wilson and Woods, I think, built, where people can actually go up. But it's on down there. I think it's somewhere up there. We can delay it. I think we should delay it. And just let's, take, let's take a look at it. Yeah, I, 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 I like to look at it. Look myself. I went down there and looked this way. Well, I realize we're only talking about two thousand dollars, but we're also talking about not putting any money. And I just you got you, know, you only got thirty six thousand left, and you know, something something might happen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, we sent in our uh, PALP application uh, last week for the walkway from the South Wire. And highly unusual, they looked at it the day we sent it in. And in fact, they, as soon as they got it, they looked at it. They've been on the phone with uh, uh, Wayne Meadows a couple of times. And he thinks it's looking pretty doggone good. So we'll see what happens. Normally, you don't hear anything from them for weeks. And evidently, they've got some money they want to give somebody. So hopefully, yeah. hopefully we'll get that. Uh, I would like you all to think a little bit about uh, deposits on sewer and garbage. Uh, we, any time that we have uh, uncollected bills with a with a gas company, with a water company, they apply their deposit to their bill and there's none left over if we've got, uh, if, 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 if there's a garbage bill uh, tied along with it and a sewer bill, nine times out of ten, all the deposit money is gone before it gets to us. And a lot of times these people are just moved off or for one reason or the other. We're getting reports from them uh, now on a, a fairly regular basis, so we can track this bit better. But it was brought up, and I think I talked with Paul Nell about it, and he, he said it had been uh, discussed one time before about adding some small deposits for garbage and sewer. So y'all think about that. That's nothing we got to act on right now, but anyway. Uh, Carol Bennettville has asked if we could practice the follies <coughs> next Tuesday or Wednesday. And I figured Tuesday would be a better day. Uh, anybody can't make it, it'd be at probably 5, 530, something like that. Next Tuesday. So next Tuesday. Where's the promise? Huh? What time? Um, I'd say 530. I could probably make it by 5.30. I've got a PZA meeting at 5.30, <coughs> but I should be able to be done. Well, we can put it off a little later than that, as far as that goes. I, I'd probably be done by 5.30. Yeah. Walker had said he wasn't going to be in it, but now I think he's going to, right? Yeah, I'll do it. He, I'll do the, he the can act on like day. the rest of us. <laughs> they want me to be pre play President Obama, so that's a little bit dangerous around here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Um, and as far as uh, personnel changes, you've got those in the back. We, we actually did a transfer from the police department, sanitation department with one, and uh, we uh, had some resignations. We had one resignation. We had some probationary raises. And uh, anyway, uh, Jordan Kelly got his uh, BS degree in criminal justice from acting, so uh, he fell in there too. Uh, I'm glad to see anybody that takes the, the initiative to spend the extra time and that's required, you know, especially when it has to do with your job. I mean, you know, I can see somebody going into accounting that's working, running a backhoe, but, you know, they don't job together, so this, this does. And I think that's about all I've got. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Well, that's it. Uh, yeah, we need to go to executive session.
sessions we do. Discuss contract. Yes. Got a motion from Randall. Roll call second. vote. Okay, second from Walter. Roll call vote. Aye. 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 We're executive session. Uh, Andrew, thank you for coming. You got anything you'd like to stand up and say or anything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs>